Hello everyone, it's Vector Action, and welcome back to another Star Wars Micro Machines review. This is the Star Wars Micro Machines Star Destroyer Space Fortress, released by Gloob in 1998. Right, so we are back, finally, with another Star Wars Micro Machines video. Uh, I don't know why I've got the box out first, so I should have to place it. There we go. There it is. That is the Star Destroyer Space Fortress. Now you can see we've got the Micro Machines logo. Now this one... I did do a video when this when I finally got this um, a few months back, so this has been long overdue. Uh, right, we'll get straight to it. So we've got the Micro Machines logo there. We've got this really cool artwork off the Star Destroyer. We've got these Tie Fighters coming by and Darth Vader's Tie Advance. We've got the bridge, Darth Vader. We've got the warning token as a sticker. Yeah, it's really cool artwork. We've got the space like background with the Death Star. Got the stripes because it's a later box. Got the gold stars logo, which looks very much like the Power of the Force packaging. Power Force 2. You've got the transforming action set, Star Destroyer Space Fortress. Got a picture over there. Star Destroyer opens into Space Fortress. And you've got the figures on top, which would be Darth Vader, Rebel Blockade Runner, Vader's TIE Fighter, Imperial Officer, Imperial Naval Trooper. They're actually inside the place. I forgot to get them out. Got Galoob. Got some of the features on there. Star Destroyer opens into, into, into Space Fortress. Vader's TIE Fighter launches into space. Opening do, opening docking bay with pivoting tractor beam. That'd be cool. And on the other side, you've got more stuff. And on the back here, we've got the diagram of what's going on. So we've got detention cell with sliding door. Imperial Naval Trooper. Darth Vader. Imperial Control Room. Imperial Officers 2. That's quite cool. We've got the working lift tube, which is nice. Um, obviously, bit of a there is a bit of a weakness to that, though. A bit of downside. Cruise quarters, hangar, opening docking bay with a pivoting tractor beam crane. That's very cool. We've got the flip up radar, landing ramp, Vader's TIE fighter launches into space, vehicle launcher, battle deck with pivoting guns. And we're back to the we've got the rebel blockade runner. So that's the place set. Obviously, there's the Star Destroyer, there's the Space Fortress. Think big, play small, micro machines. We've got some of the other sets on the back. The rebel transport and cloud city is some of the rarest. This is quite a rare pack as well. Bounty on this is another rare one. Double takes Death Star. Slave on Tatarine. Got that. I've got both of those. I haven't got the Jabba Moss Lighty Spaceport or the Yoda Dega Boss set. I've got Boba Fett Cloud City, but mine's a bit discoloured. Luke Skywalker Hoff I haven't got. I haven't got any of these. would love to have that one. Uh, Death, Staunch of Death Star and Vader Bespin I've got. But Vader Bespin is missing some stuff. It says at the bottom here that... Uh, available at different times in 1998. Galoob. And there is, and there's some more on the back there. We've got Gloob again, white logo this time. And it's saying here, features, features pivoting guns, flip-up radar, working lift tube, detention cell with sliding door, super laser, and more. And on the bot and on the top, we've got more. So there it is. Now, if we open it up, of course, we've got the instructions and the insert. Possibly take this out. Um, I should show the instructions, as you can see. I've got the original bags and everything for it, which is nice. We'll definitely take the instructions out because you probably don't see these very often. But there you go, attach labels as shown. Galoob. You've got the dumb you've got the number at the top there, Star Wars Micro Machines. Pretty cool to operate. There it is. Quite a small instruction booklet, but it's cool nonetheless. Let's put that in there. Oh, can I have a wipe? It's gonna be a wipe. Now I'm trying to put this thing back in. <laughs> Because unfortunately, obviously these are the windows, so it's a real nightmare getting them back in. But, and the box is a bit broken, unfortunately, but it is from 1998, so a good 20 plus years. But, yeah, it's a good two decades this, this toy, since this toy was released, so the box is going to... This box is a bit worse for it, unfortunately, so it's a bit damaged at the top there. Still looks really good though, and it's really nice. So that is the box. Now we come on to the set, the play set. So as you can see, we've got the Star Destroyer. It's probably one of the only times I've actually released an Imperial Star Destroyer like play set. Uh, normally, you know, you've got the actual like micro machine one, obviously. Just the normal micro machine, not the play set. And there's probably a few die cast ones and Kenner released a collector fleet one, but really there haven't been many Star Destroyer like toys, like vehicles or play sets really that open up and uh, well this one is a space walk with something in the side. But it does look a lot like a Star Destroyer. Like the inside of the Star Destroyer. I mean, it's got the bridge and another thing. We've got the got the top of the Star Destroyer there, we've got the bridge. We've got this cool like 
translucent piece at the top there, which is interesting. This would be where the turbolasers are. There's really good detail on this. Looks really good as a star. This is a really cool looking star destroyer. This part moves a lot. We'll get into that later. But it looks really cool. It's really nice. I like the like the grey colour down the middle there. It looks great. It's a fantastic star destroyer. There's loads of detail on there. It looks brilliant in this mode. It definitely looks brilliant. Yep. So that's a really cool looking star destroyer you got there. But it gets even better, of course, because it can open up. And you can also put it next to the Death Star, which I do have, the Double Takes Death Star. Probably should do a review on this next. I don't know, though. I've done one of the review for ages. But if we take the Death Star there, as you can see, we've got the Double Takes Death Star. And you've got the Star Destroyer next to it. Looks good. Looks about the same size, though, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah. It's probably not to scale, but my question isn't the scale. But as you can see, they look really good together, so... You know, can create quite cool display. Anyway, so that's that. To open it up, we're just going to, of course, we'll open that bit up like that. These parts come down. And you've got the flip-up radar there. You've got the battling, the battle deck here. So you've got this gun that turns around. You've got this other blaster that comes out. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. We've got, it's armed and ready for battle. Great. The working lift tube is this part here. Yeah? It's controlled by this, which is the main weakness because it loosens up over time. And we got the rebel blockade one in there. But first, let's take out our figures. Which uh, the good part about this set is that well, oh, I've got a figure here from the Storm Trooper Death Star playset. He shouldn't be in there. Now, the good thing about this playset, of course, is you can put all your figures away. And it's like it's like a storage, so that's really good. Something that you can't really do with the, other, the new ones. Well, here we go. So we've got the Darth Vader figure. He looks good. It's like doing a force choke. That's fantastic. Let's try and see if we can get a better look at him. Nope. Yeah, he looks cool. And he's definitely choking someone. Because as you can see, we've got this officer holding his throat. We've got another Imperial officer there. I'm standing on guard, it looks cool. And we've got an Imperial Naval Trooper, which is something we don't see very often. Uh, yeah, it looks great. And he's got his, well, he's, he's in attack position. He's got, he's got his gun at the ready, his blaster even. And now we've got the playset, so. And we've got the Rail Blockade Runner, which looks fantastic, obviously. This, this, this is the tentative for. For New Hope. And. The really cool part about this is there is a hole at the top there, and there's a hole on the tractor beam. And what you can do is, well, you can, you know, you can take, you can get hold of the ship, like in the film, basically. You know, the Star Strike is pulling up the Titan 4, and that is a really cool part that we'll get to later. But if you, if we look at the top there, we've got the bridge and everything. We've got, like, the, the viewport, and this transition piece looks really cool there. We've got, like, consoles. There's three levels to it, which is nice. And, of course, what you can do is you can put your figure here. Let's put Darth Vader at the top. And he's going to force choke this poor officer, which has failed his mission to track the Rebel Alliance. So let's do that. There we go. And then we're going to put our Imperial Naval Trooper down here, ready to fire. So as you can see there, we have uh, the unfortunate failure of that imperial officer might have cost him his life and um, we've got imperial we've got imperial officer down there and we've got an imperial naval trooper ready ready for action it looks really cool as you see we've got like stickers of star destroyers and stuff back there it looks really cool uh, the consoles look great as well this translucent plastic is nice we've got some nice stickers there we've got on the second platform down the bottom here we've got loads of space We've got the tractor beam there, putting up the tentative four, and we have the control lift. We have the turbo, the turbo lift, which is controlled by this. So of course, well, there is one issue with this set, as you can see, is it's quite wobbly, unfortunately. And the reason for that is, well, if you look at it, we've got this great big block here, and well, if you try and do anything with it, it's just going to move around, which is a real shame. That is one problem I have with this set. It's a bit finicky to get everyone in there. It is a micro machine set after all. But what we're going to do is we're going to put Darth Vader in the lift. And as you can see, 
they will go up and get into the next floor, which is nice. You can't get them up to this floor, though. But, you know, very cool. There was a sticker in there as well, but the sticker was a bit... Well, it's, it's peeling, I think. I mean, it's a round sticker, so... Oh, no. Yeah, it's peeling off that one. But as you can see, it goes up and down. Well, issue, but unfortunately that means... But it doesn't stay particularly well, as you can see. Well, look, well it does stay, actually. But the second you put a figure on it, it just falls. So, that's something that's unfortunately loosened up over time. Because it's controlled by the bridge section. Which is a bit of a pain, but, you know, there we go. We've got loads of movement on this... Uh, on the tractor beam area, which is really cool. And there is another great feature this has. As you can see, you can move the tractor four around. And in here, what, what you can do, of course, is there's a section here to put a naval trooper, so we can get the troopers on the battle deck. And that looks fantastic. If the right back of this damn thing would stay, that is. As you can see, yep, so that's quite cool. Battle scene we've got going there. Let's just get that back in. Yep, there we go. And you've got loads of room here to put your troopers, you know, you can have people standing around. Loads of space to put troops, which is really cool. Get out your stormtroopers and a bit Darth Vader at the top there. Really like the detail here, looks fantastic. And this thing will go, you know, go around a lot of ways, that's good. Loads of movement on that. The guns will turn, the cannons and stuff, so that's really cool. There's even some cool sticker detail in there. Well, there's some cool molded detail in there, which is nice. And all across the place, here, as you can see, it looks really good. And but the main part, of course, is well, we have Darth Vader's TIE fighter and it's on a launcher. Well, it's a missile, and what you do, of course, is that will attach in there like that. And when you're ready, fire, and off it goes. And that's pretty damn cool, that's fantastic. I'm now going to have to retreat that because that went quite far, but it might be a bit, bit chaotic. There we go. So there it is. So that fires out quite, that's quite, you know, that's quite some firepower, which is nice. And that will just load back in there. There's some cool detail on it, of course. Yep, so that is everything it comes with. So now I've seen all the figures and vehicles. I've shown the action features. Uh, it's a really cool place. It looks great. It's one of the rare ones in the Stars Mike Machines line. Uh, this part you can, you know, position and move around and everything, which is really cool. And it does stay there quite well. If you have it all the way, you know, just push it all the way to the back. You can leave it up like that. That's good. That closes up. It's quite nice, and it hides it quite well. Looks like a mini Star Destroyer almost. Uh, you've got this flip up radar section back here, which is nice. You know, got some nice sticker detail on there. And you can park a TIE fighter. If I have one at the ready, I do. So if you can take if you take a TIE fighter, there's like a landing strip forward there. So you can park it like that. That looks cool, and of course it can take off. And that's quite neat. And then if we take up like loads of Imperial troops, in this case I've got loads of TIE fighter pilots. So they'll just be ready for battle. Ready to get in their TIE fighters and take off. From the deaths from the Star Destroyer event. You can obviously populate your Star Destroyer with loads of TIE fighter pilots. Probably look better with stormtroopers. I don't have enough. Make that look good. As you can see there, you've got loads of TIE fighter pilots in the Star Destroyer. That looks quite good. So there's that. So there's loads of space for figures, which is nice. The figures it comes with look really cool. So it comes with, if, well, less figures possibly. I think it comes with four figures. Yeah, it does. Four figures, so a bit less than what you were getting with the original playset. set. The original, my, my Star Wars Micro Machines action set. Transforming action set. It's like the um, little Death, the Storm Trooper Death Star, for example. Came with six. Came with uh, four figures and two vehicles. Oh, this does come with uh, two vehicles, so actually I think it's about the same. That's good. Given that at this point in the line they did start to cheapen out the amount of figures they gave you. 
But the coolest part of this playset, well, one of the coolest features is if we leave the Titan to fall in there, what you can do is this section actually opens up the tractor beam. If you get your finger in there, it does open up. And what you can do is we can lower the tentative four. And this is really cool. Really cool that they included this. Because what you can do now is you can reenact the opening of Star Wars or A New Hope. And it's now known. If you just put everything back in, you can put all your figures in. You know, don't, they go in there quite well. Close it up. And now, got the tentative four at the bottom there, as if it's just been pulled in with the tractor beam, just like in the opening of Star Wars. So you've got the, you've got the Star Destroyer that comes past the camera. And so you've got this great big Star Destroyer that comes into view, and you've got the tentative four hanging at the bottom there. So that is really cool. Um, there it is. That is the Star Wars Micro Machines Star Destroyer Space Fortress. A really cool set. Really nice how they include this feature. As you can reenact the opening of Star Wars. It's fantastic. Well, until the prequels came out, obviously. But, you know, the reopening of the original film. It doesn't hold in there particularly well. And for some reason, this radar dish keeps popping off. Which is something to look for. To look, you know, something to keep, mind, keep in mind. If you're trying to get one of these, make sure... These parts aren't missing. Or if we could buy a new one, obviously, you know, just, well, it should all be there. It's a bit of a pain trying to put that back in. No, nope, there we go. That's in. So that's really cool how you can do that. And of course, the, it will just shut like that. And then if we take the tank of four, oh, we need to open it back up. But you can just put it in there. Put your figures in this massive section here. In fact, there is a jail cell as well. So you can open this up and you can put an unfortunate... Well, someone can unfortunately go in there. An officer. That, you know, yeah, you can put a prisoner in there. Like that. And then close it all up. So there's loads of play features, loads of action features, and it looks great. There's a Star Destroyer. And in, as a space fortress, um, yep, that is the Star Wars Micro Machines Star Wars Destroyer Space Fortress. That transforming action playset. Really cool set. Definitely worth getting hold of if you can find it. It's, it's a rare one, uh, but it does look great. Alongside the Double Tech Death Star, and, and this Star Destroyer mode just looks fantastic. And it sort of has a bit of a light up feature given that this translucent thing, if we open it up, it kind of glows. You, know, you can kind of see it glowing in there. So that's quite cool. There we have it. This has been Retroaction. Definitely get the order's place set. I'll be back with another Star Wars Monique Machines with them, or Transformers video or something. I'll be back with something very soon. But definitely get order's set if you can find it. It's a great one to add to your Star Wars Monique Machines collection. Looks fantastic. I wish it would be a bit more stable, as you can see. It kind of does wobble a lot because of this great big bit at the bottom. There's a great big like, block at the bottom there. So it has a bit of a hard time. Staying still, but aside from that, that's a great place set. That's all for now. Goodbye for now.